welcome back you wonderful weirdos and anyone else watching um, great timing as always because I'm just about to start I'm going to talk about uh, <clears throat> Martin Underhill he's the former crime commissioner and he's just made quite a valid point um, I'm going to put a link to the interview on well to a clip that's on GB News um, and he says that he's surprised he can't he can't believe um i wrote it down and everything so i'd look like a proper news reporter <clears throat> are you ready i should be taking the piss it's quite serious yeah he's saying he cannot understand why they are saying that this is a tragic accident fair point because um well they don't know anything yet do they but what they do know is that the mobile phone is still by the bench not that bench and um, the dog was found by road the opposite direction to where the river is or the canal and um, the dog's not wearing its harness the dog is dry and I'm wondering if the dog followed its scent um, sorry followed its owner's scent did he follow Nicholas scent and that's why he went to the road could there have been a car at the road or a van or something where she may have got into willingly or otherwise why they they spent 10 days looking in this canal or river whatever it is um, and now they've got a private uh, company to do another search and the police are thinking, well, they're not going to find anything. If we didn't find anything in 10 days, what are they going to find? Um, yeah, I don't know how fast it flows. I don't really know a great deal about it, but I do know that the former commissioner, Martin Underhill, former crime commissioner, has said that he is surprised that the police are saying that this is a tragic accident. And I agree with him because... Um, we don't know right so yes I don't normally cover topical stuff um, if you want me to do more of this let there be some lighter news for me to cover this is um, yeah uh, oh here's lighter news um, <laughs> I've just filled up my lighter no I have. Um, that's not really light news, <laughs> but it is. Oh, fuck it. I'm only laughing because it's true. <laughs> right. Um, lighter news. Uh, <laughs> I think that'll stick. I'm sorry. Oh, Jesus Christ. Right, okay. In lighter news. On Wednesday, my eight o'clock show will be at seven o'clock <laughs> show <laughs> oh I'm a funny fucker I'll tell you right it's a show it's it's a it's a it's a live stream it's um I turn the camera on and I talk to you wonderful weirdos and everybody else that might be watching um it's uh I've got a guest booked um it's going to be seven not eight o'clock that's the point show stream whatever you want to call it um I'll be here talking to you if you're there and a guest more about that later tonight um, on my community posts I will reveal all I haven't done the thumbnail yet so I can't do anything about it. well <laughs> it's, hang on that's not fair there's someone who's doing the thumbnail for me um, but I'm still not ready to write um, and I haven't set it up on StreamYard or anything yet which will only take a little while. I'm I'm waiting for the thumbnail. Basically, I'm not. <laughs> I am. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not ready. <laughs> it's it's a free service. <laughs> oh fuck it all. Right. Okay. Um. Yes. Anything else? Um. <laughs> yeah. One. One more thing. In my notes for the video that I did yesterday, I think. Um, I did write a little thing and there was a story that I saw on Twitter 
um, about Harry and Meghan getting snubbed by Oprah Winfrey because she didn't get an in, they didn't get an invite to Oprah's birthday. And uh, I wrote on these um, notes for today. Um, this was the well, I might as well show you really. Didn't I? The, there's Harry and Meghan snubbed, um, and it's the last note on yesterday's, and then underline. I started today's notes for today, um, and uh, it's not even funny now. I've totally ruined that. All I put was and me. Yeah, hilarious. She was snubbed by Oprah and me because I didn't bother doing the um, the story yesterday. I snubbed it. Um, as will often be the case with those two because uh, <laughs> alright let's do a little bit about Ginger Winger um, I only say that because he doesn't like it I don't like it when you say stuff that uh, you're going to devote the rest of your life to veterans in the UK and then turn your back on the army and everyone therein how dare you how dare you coin a phrase from that little woke princess one of your idols, no doubt. She'd slap your ass, mate. Jesus Christ. Ugh. Wish I hadn't thought of that. Lighter news. See what happens when you start thinking about the ginger winger. It's just... Ugh. Horrible. Right. Um, I think... That's it. There was a couple of other things that I wanted to talk about. Um... doing another video I think I'm done today <laughs> I'll see you in the comments and um, in the community post a little bit later this evening and on Wednesday oh yeah there was another thing yeah it's another video completely on Wednesday seven o'clock not eight o'clock I'll see you there I'll see you when you're older take care bye bye fuck that boy. <laughs> Thank you, I fucking love you. Good night.